All right. So let's move forward. I need to remember <laughs> to push the right button. Map of Bavarian Alps. With notes and trails outlined in pencil, someone has studied it in depth. A head full of plans for the next hike. Which trails are a must and which can be skipped? There isn't long enough for everything, or there isn't enough time for everything, as long as you get to see the chamois. Perhaps you might even manage to take their photograph. Alrighty. Alright, now that I'm pressing the right button, the sparklies are appearing. Cause see, if I if I press right bumper, it spreads the dust around, but it doesn't actually give me the things I needed. I needed to press right trigger in order to get it to pop. Prayer book contains prayer spoken during exorcisms. The pages of the prayer book are read from uh, read from often, although the words written on them have already engraved themselves in memory. The same prayers are used for various cases of alleged possession. Candelabrum. The candles aren't burning. The candelabrum must be ritualistic, lit only on special occasions. Incense. It continues to emit smoke. The suffocating odor is difficult to bear. Words repeated continuously like a mantra, regularly, often, and with great excitement, still hover over the incense smoke. Attempts to chase away Satan, cries to heaven, beseeching divine intervention for souls possessed by various evil spirits. Orthodox rituals. Exorcisms are held regularly in the sacred space conducted by Father Kirill. The clergyman follows his learned routine and does not take particular care to identify cases or actually help tormented souls. His heart's not in it. Lectern. A lectern used in Orthodox rites and for taking confessions. Echoes of a whisper remained atop the lectern, the confession that Kirill had heard. A confession or a silent cry for help, a desperate plea for hope. Wooden chair, nothing about it stands out. Her heart was pounding in trepidation as she sat in the chair. Words of the prayer brought no solace, nor did Christ looking calmly down at her from the icon. The fear for the entity closest to her in life overshadowed everything else. Trey Certain, Serena Alexandra. The last hope. The Tsarina visits the Orthodox Church, most likely incognito, seeing as no one is talking about it. Her confessor is Kirill, from whom she seeks help for her troubled heart. Her thoughts are full of fear. So many pieces of info. Icon. An icon with the countenance of Tsar Nikolai II. He looked at the icon for a long time, straight into the Tsar's eyes, as if interrogating him, perhaps looking for inspiration. He stepped away from it with the plan formed in his head, though the icon hadn't answered. Rasputin. Alright, so we still have some more pieces of evidence to find. We still do need to talk to... What's his name? We were able to draw some conclusions. Doesn't seem like there's any more sparkles around, so let's talk to Kitty. Are there any other reflections gnawing at you? All right, we found all three. You're an exorcist, aren't you? I've heard you regularly drive Satan out of people here. Yes, it's true. Does it often work? If the flame of Doubting Thomas flickers inside you, you can soon witness the miracle of exorcism with your own eyes. Can I? Is there anything else I can help you with? Do you really believe that nonsense, Father? That demons dwell inside people? Is that calculation or habit? I think we aren't so different from one another. I don't question the existence of your demons, Thaumaturge. I had to ask. Is there still something troubling you? At least he's consistent in his beliefs. Do you know Grigory Rasputin, father? He also visited this place not long ago. Rasputin, 
I haven't seen him here, but yes, I know him, and I remember him well. It's impossible to forget someone like that. How do you know one another? From back in Petersburg, he was looking for protection, posing as a great preacher, but I was suspicious of him. He was nothing more than an ordinary charlatan. Just talking about that man sullies the palate with sin. Why do you ask about him? No reason. Hmm. During a conversation, Kirill revealed that he'd met Rasputin in, pe in uh, Petersburg. He doesn't think very highly of him. In fact, he demonstrates hostility toward the man. Rasputin tried to ingratiate himself with the local clergy, but he didn't succeed. Rasputin's secrets. Rasputin has been to the Orthodox Church before. On top of that, he knows Kirill, though he didn't mention it. What is he scheming? Definitely something related to the Tsar, whose effigy was gazing, he was gazing at so intently. You get some peculiar guests here, Father. There is room in God's house for everyone. It's no secret that Tsarina Alexandra is particularly God-fearing. Do you know her well? As well as a confessor can. So, quite well. If you're looking for gossip about her imperial majesty, you've come to the wrong place. There are plenty of people at Rojitsky Bazaar eager for such chit-chat. I feel as though this is not an accidental meeting. I'll be off. I'm sure you have more urgent matters to attend to, Father. I'll be here if you want to talk. And remember, darkness does not exist without light. If your demons are real, then so is God who cursed them. Alright, so that's finished. We've already gotten all these completed, so we can just mark them off. Wow, we've done a lot of quests so far. There we go. Uh, I want to look at my quest, though. Uh, dangerous friends, we'll figure out. We need to go to Kayatan. Oh, we can capture Marana now. Okay, that's useful. Let's do that. Google Alias is an early stream. Nice. This is my normal streaming time on Saturdays. <laughs> I've been streaming since like 1130. Uh, let's see. Uh, tch, 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 tch. Go Pavishla. All right. Uh, gotta find Kayatan. And then we get our persona upgrade. Yay! It's you. How was jail? A place like any other. <laughs> I helped Pilevin find the real murderer. I mean, murderess. He told me. I like how just straightforward he is. He doesn't give you anything more than that. It's like when Dax answers retro spring questions. <laughs> how does freedom feel? Normal. The river giveth and the river taketh away. I see you're not interested in small talk, so let's pick up where we left off last time. Where are you hiding, my beautiful Kelpie? You rescued him when he wanted to end things, but you took advantage of his condition to feed on his floor. I think it's time for him to be rid of you. The river giveth and the river taketh away. Okay, wow, I guess we're just in a boss fight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
All right, so we'll probably die a few times to this. What is this interesting? Oh, okay, this is just telling me where the health bar breaks. I always forget how this works. All right, you... We need to Bukovach you. So, Uber. This is the order that we need for this, right? Dimension Force 6 to disable? Alright, we're gonna need to- we're gonna Velus this. I... who? Yes. All right, we, we. I need to just find a way to get as much damage as possible on some of these characters very quickly. This is battle is going to be really hard because I, I don't know how I'm supposed to get Dimension Force Six in this fight. Um. Hmm. All right, let's just do that and then try to mess this guy up. Because now that now that we've disabled the traits, we can at least use Uper to heal ourselves if we need to. Um, do I want this? We'll do that, and now yeah. I'm just gonna punch him. Oh, god damn it. I thought I was protected. I guess I can't. Oh, because I used Lelic last turn. That's what it was. That will kill. I don't know. I don't know what this Marana attack is doing. Alright, that's fine. She was dangerous, so it's okay. Alright, I need to probably Bukovac. Or not not Bukovac, Lelek. To tr to trade my traits. So it will be this one. Okay. We can do it. Oh, okay, so that it rearranges the attack order. That's what it does. And now go to Uper. Heal me. And we'll quick attack. Switches turn order. He goes ahead. I take some damage. And now Uper heals me. I want to save. Well, I guess I can just cuss him. It's fine. Because it will kill him. There we go. Okay. Ha! Oh, four people. And... Okay, I don't think any of them... Okay, hold on. Let's see. I do need the healing, so we'll deal with that. I'm gonna try to interrupt you. Didn't work. Okay, well. This is gonna be extraordinarily brutal. This is gonna be a really tough fight. Okay. Uh. Sure, we'll inflict suffering on him, which will make the next attack we use pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna focus on the one who I can l I, I need to Lelek. That's what I need to do. This is a very Lelek heavy fight, so we're gonna uh, Who do I want to Lelek? You? Yes, we'll do that. And then you are gonna Jesus Christ, I'm so slow. Oh my god. Okay. Um Just 
try that, I guess. Okay, oh, I'm gonna die. This is, this is nuts. This is brutal. All right, Lelic will transfer these traits, though. And give him all of our negative status. I'm gonna die. This is gonna be a really tough fight. Oh my god. It's gotta be that. Okay, we gotta try to break. Good, we broke the attack, we might survive. Okay, this might heal us. This is gonna give us 24 HP, I think, right? Twenty-three, okay. Didn't help us. Bang. I might be able to brute force through this fight. Good, okay, with one more down. I might be able to make some of this happen. Ouch. And then I need to Lelek the next turn. Get 11 back. Okay. Okay. He's dead no matter what. Can I take her down? Is the question. I can just kill him. It's fine. I'm dead, I think. This is going to be tough. Yep, okay. Focus. She'll get all the status. A single attack can kill me, though. Ooper. Uh, if this delays him... Yeah, yes, we're safe. Okay. Alright, this... We might do this. This was a tough fight. But I think I'm safe. Oh my god. That was, this is a crazy fight. I'm like, my heart's actually beating fast. Like, I feel like I'm playing a, like a actual old school JRPG boss fight right now. Uh, all right, let's see. Victor's gonna kill her, so we need to do this. Um, and this is just upkeep to heal myself. And then next turn we can disable. Oh my God. So much damage. Alright, they just have to do this. 10 HP back. Lelek. Just keep doing this. She's dead. He'll do something to me, which will give me more status, but it's just gonna go straight on him now. Um, that's all we need. Oh, it broke my turn. Okay. We need Veles, so you we gotta hope that this breaks it. Okay, good, yay. All right, so we are more capable now because we got our focus back. That could have been really bad for us. Um, and now this heals us back to 32. Look at that. We made it through the fight. Oh, my God. 
That was rough. And look how many status effects I have. Dear Lord. He's going to get all our status. He inherits all of it. And now I'm just going to punch him to death, I guess. I can just plant attack and then... It doesn't really matter what we do. He's dead. Woo! We got Marana. What do I need you for? No, this is not true. Not true, not true, not true. I'm too close. I've dealt with better ones than you. You're mine. What was that? What happened? The river giveth and the river taketh away. But never again. The river no longer flows through you. What? What do you mean? I rid you of the salutar that was tormenting your mind. I didn't ask you to. Is this why you were so bent on getting me out of jail? Hmm. It was more about justice. Yeah, sure. Thanks. And now what? Something flipped in my head? What should I do? Whatever you like. It's all up to you now. Okay. Now I would like to clean up. I need to air the place because it reeks. Worse than the cell. All right. Oh, Sparky's here. Hey, Sparky. Welcome. All right. So we got through that fight. I was really not expecting to survive that. Let's look at my thaumaturgy now. Oh, I need to go to Rasputin immediately. Um, so let's do that. Do you want to see what? Um, okay, so Marana takes over Lelek, which makes sense because she was a status effect fight. So let's do that. And, uh, where is, where are they? The Nanarjinskis, I think they're over here, right? Let's look at the map. I don't remember where they are. Oh god, where the hell is, where is Rasputin? Uh, what's my map hotkey? Is it down? It is, yes. Okay, um... There it is. Okay. I was right there. Ah, there's sparkles. Bigot's Diary. Human crookedness knows no bounds. I heard from a neighbor that meetings of a gentleman's club are being held regularly at Colonel Vyachev's apartment. For years, the colonel has only been inviting his friends there, and it's the only condition for being let in. Unfortunately, Vyachev, due to his advanced age, is slowly losing his faculties. Shady characters take advantage of this and tell the old man that they have been well acquainted with him for years, gaining access to all the entertainment that he hosts that the hosts offer to his guests. Huh. Alright, so that's a little quest to wiggle around in. Torn letter. Nearly every other day, Valeri attends some kind of meeting in apartment for uh, Pavatskoska Street. What goes on there? Uh, I lost my uh, what goes on there and why does he come back so late? He could devote this time to his family. I don't know anything as he dismisses my questions. You had a good idea, dear friend, but that didn't let my cousin in there, which is even more suspicious, thus I remain in the dark about the matters that so intensely preoccupy my husband's mind. All right, 
Where are we headed? Ooh, more clues. These are all the clues that I missed because I was not pressing the right button. Sofa. There are pillows scattered on the couch. A lot happened here. She was laughing out loud, trying to stop him from saying body words. But he didn't stop, instead only making her laugh more and more until the long-awaited satisfaction came. Suitcase looks cheap. Whatever it holds, it isn't worth much. The modest possessions have the glow of hope around them. Hope for a change of fate that seems predetermined. He said that he would take care of her, that she was important to him. All she gave him in return was her heart. Metal. A Tsar's medal. I wonder what it's doing here instead of being proudly pinned to a uniform. Unpinned from a uniform in the act of pledging allegiance to Rasputin, the hand that did it trembled, but that last lasted only a fraction of a section, second. In the end, loyalty to Rasputin proved paramount. Empty bottles of expensive liquors. One is put down, another one is raised. Another one down, another raised, until all were empty. By no means was that a sign that the party was over. An empty wine glass with lipstick on it. Strange desire lingered on the imprint of the woman's lips. Something new, as if born recently, unexpectedly. The heart freed itself from the fetters of morality and brought previously unknown joy to the body. Rasputin caused this incredible. Invitation to pray. Dear Countess, I trust I find you in good health. I wish to invite you to a unique prayer session that will be held on our humble apartment on Povatskovska Street. And the session will be presided over by our guest, an exceptional person who, through prayer, is able to reach the very core of the human soul. Seeing as you are a particularly spiritual person, I expect you will like this, like to attend and experience piety from this entirely new perspective. My kindest regards, Aniela Nedarjinsky. Ashtray full of cigarette butts. One after another after another, the ashtray reveals the smoker seeks a moment of solace in the ritual cigarette. But the solace does not come, so another cigarette is lit. Maybe this healer will actually help her. Maybe he will fulfill his promises, and her life will finally improve. Maria. Apron. A servant stained apron. She sincerely enjoyed the work. The Nadarjinskis were good to her. But things couldn't continue like this. In the anger that permeates every fi fiber of her apron, one can sense an echo of longing for good, trouble-free times, in the times when he wasn't there. A wooden broom for everyday use. Each sweep of the broom brought words full of contempt to her lips. What kind of company is this? Mr. and Mrs. Nadarjinsky have started associating with strange people. To invite such guests is not proper, and this Shulsky fellow such a decent name, and yet he's no better than the others. Is that everything here? Oh, there's this item that I haven't looked at yet. Pipe. It's wooden and looks to get a lot of use. It must belong to Lucian. Smoking the pipe was accompanied by a series of persistent thoughts centered around a dominant one. This is wrong. The immorality of the householder's behavior is unacceptable to the smoker. It shouldn't be like this. Rasputin has gathered a very colorful group of people around him who don't seem to have much in common at first glance. They come from different social strata yet have different and have different personalities, and yet... They share some trust in Rasputin, at least in this in his promises. Is this the beginning of a cult? Lucian seems to be the only one with a different opinion. Do you have a moment? For you, always. I need your help. Again. And I won't turn you down again. Her sadness, heartbreakingly cold. How can we tame her? Stop fighting her. What? There's no need to resist. Go to her. Let me soothe this melancholy. Let it engulf you.
salt on the doorstep, scattered on the doorstep as a protection against evil. A hand trembling in fright scattered salt in the hopes of warding off a devilish spirit. Salt was supposed to be good. It was supposed to chase away all evil in this form. Only the devil could stink like that. But salt is good. It will do well against him, too. Servant's worries. Everything indicates that the Nadarjinsky's dutiful maid couldn't stay in the presence of Rasputin or the guests he brought under the once respected roof, so she left their employ. She saw him as the devil and looked for a way to ward off an evil spirit, but was apparently unsuccessful. Do you have a moment? For you, always. This place looked different. The Nadarjinsky's did too. Everything is happening according to their will, and with their blessing. Mm. Not all of them are as favorable to you as your hosts. The housekeeper quit. Well, Jesus had opponents too. And look how it worked out for him. You're aiming high. The highest. Anything else you want to share? All these people, you've gathered a colorful group. We all come from different environments, from different rungs on the ladder. And that's the most beautiful thing about this. What have you found out about them? How did you manage to convince the Tsarist officer to come to you? He came of his own accord, like all of you. Lazarev has great potential. He's exceptionally eager. He senses that his country is sick, and he'd like to solve the problem. Is there more you need to know? Maria is calculated. She stays close because in you, she sees a chance for a better life. And what's wrong with that? I respect that. I don't demand that you all gaze upon me like a sacred icon. But loyalty? There are all sorts of ways a person can win that for themselves. Anything else? Magdalena still hasn't rid herself of her youthful naivete. I think she's honestly fallen in love with you. Are you surprised she has? Many a love has had such a beginning. She's a good girl. Let's not hold that against her. Anyara is unknowable, and Lucian is unhappy about the changes taking place in her. Anyela has completely given up her lust for my sake. She'd rather just pray and pray. I respect that greatly, but I must share my time with others. Do you think that Lucian is jealous about the time his wife devotes to me? It's possible. Don't worry about it. Keep talking and asking. Enough about these people. I'm at your service, Victor. Ask for what you want. This whole farce, the thank yous, what's it all for? What intentions do you have towards me? Intentions? that we become friends and help one another, and complement one another. I have skills that you don't, and vice versa. I'm not hiding anything from you, Victor. I'll leave you alone. I've got business to get back to. Go in health, friend. Okay, so we got Marana. Let's look at her. What is this again? This is mind, not deed. So I guess we're going to get whatever this thing is soon. Finishing argument inflicts damage. This gets us close to there. Let's hold on to our skill points for now. Ooh. Note for the delivery boy. Give the cigars from the small box to the gentleman in the apartment on 4 Povatskovska Street at uh, 8 p.m. Give the cigars from the silvery box to Mr. Vyachev personally. It's that a special order. Dispatch from the butler for a cigar delivery boy. 
During the meetings at Vyachev's, which are held at 8 p.m., the attending gentlemen enjoy good cigars. In his apartment at 4 Povatskovska Street, Colonel Vyachev holds meetings at, uh, of the Gentlemen's Club every other day at 8 p.m. to get in. All you have to do is convince the host that you're an old acquaintance of his. Guests are treated to delicious cigars in an environment where they relax and indulge in disputes. Let's do that real quick. Okay, we can just go. The smell of tobacco has evoked the memories of my father. I think he used the same brand. Is there anything else here? No. Just wanted to make sure. Okay, so now we're, we're down to main quests and this quest that won't progress. Neat. Okay. Let's find Father's Friends. Southern Shrodmicha. All right. Theater repertoire. Teatro Rosmai Toshki. Tostsi. Program on Friday, September 15th, 1905. Miss Castellanova. One act drama by Yosef Korniowski. Thai Theater Cone. Friends of Four Act Comedy by Count Alexander Fredro. Theater repertoire. Ooh, theatrical pandemonium. We have a new quest. Why is my quest marker not popping up? That's weird. I had no idea about this place. Hmm. <laughs> Rabbi's Trace. The warmth of the Sabbath candles, the joy and pride in the community of which one is part. I know this trace belongs to Rabbi Sofer. A sweet secret. One of Father's mysterious friends was Isaac Sofer, whose amulet I found at the study at home. Broken plate. There once was a plate. Now it is no more. Oh, the fragility of existence. The shards are livid. The conversation was calm until it wasn't. Emotions soared. Manners evaporated. And the smell of expensive tobacco, disappointment, and ambition hung over everything. What was once whole became disintegrated. The proud name plate was forever replaced by the insult junk. Forever. Mysterious Tenement House. It's impossible to mistake for anything else. Tobacco, disappointment, and ambition. Father's Trace. This is where he would meet with his shady friends, apparently accompanied by heated arguments. Typical. Hello, sweet secret. Conspirator's Trace. The same precision, the same exactness. I know this trace. I discovered it on a box in Father's Study. It seems that the person who asked Father to meet is a doctor with ties to revolutionaries. I would never have guessed that Stanislav Shulsky, a symbol of prudence and conformity, actually had subversive friends. I need to meet this doctor. Doctor. 
I think that's everything now. So, besides father, there were two more. A candy lover and a coffee lover. Konieczkin must have had one of them in mind. The one with the sweet tooth looks like a rabbi. I should look for him in the synagogue. The coffee lover, meanwhile. That's what I call you now. The doctor. Because you help rabbis and people the hospital is off limits to. Rebels and revolutionaries. Luckily, I know someone who matches the description. Maybe we'll find out what she needed that ammunition for. Come on, we'll be careful. Time to get some donuts at Rodwitz. Alright, so there's nothing else in this house, it seems. Alright, more stuff. Newspaper. There are numerous folds and food stains marking the pages. Bitter reflections on whether it's appropriate to comment on the photo of Kinyechkin's desk. Uh, on Kinyechkin's desk, gather in the folds of the newspaper. The conclusion? It was a mistake paid for by a shit task of tailing the rich young man. Only one thing can bring the suffering to an end. A juicy denunciation. Cigarette butt. A cigarillo rolled with precision. Someone here has skills. The perfectly rolled cigarette butt is wrapped in thoughts as bitter as poor quality tobacco and burned through with the claim about the certainty of tomorrow. A comfortable home, elegant attire, things that can't be brought on, uh, bought on the modest salary of an Akrana agent. The, uh, things he can only dream about. The sad men. It seems that Konyechkin sent his men to tail me. Is that a compliment or an affront? It's hard to tell. The men are clearly disgusted by the task and would be happy to report back to the chief with spicy details of my life. I could convince them that their job is done. Ooh, we can Im manipulate someone. Since we keep following one another around, maybe we should introduce ourselves. What are you talking about? Hmm. I've got the impression that I've caught you gents' attention. I'm curious why. Don't you know where curiosity like that can get you? It'll cause you nothing but trouble. You guys are so devoted. Is the pay worth so much hard work? Maybe it's time to fight for a raise. I don't want to keep mucking around in this crap. Not for this kind of money. Following some spoiled brat around, standing for hours outside people's windows. And God alone knows what for. Not for this kind of money. Wait up. I'm not gonna stand here on my own with him. Let's talk to the chief. All right. All right, so we do gotta contact the revolutionaries first. It's a pretty good. Thing to go through. Midas's golden touch. Everything here is oozing with the precious hop liquid. Bouquet of flowers. Fresh flowers, probably from a nearby flower shop. Pretty. The flowers taste of sorrow and ash. The delicate colors of the petals fade, consumed by the need for action, retribution, revenge, to take from others what one has lost. The sensations flowing from the bouquet are intense, choking, intoxicating, frightening. They make up Wanda's trace. 
All right. Is there? Yep, there is more stuff. Proletarians of all countries unite. Go forth, Warsaw. On the streets of Moscow, the people are fighting the Tsardom. The land that has forever housed the capital of the Tsars is soaked with the blood of the Russian proletariat, murdered with grape shot and cannons. But the people refuse to yield. They boldly raise their banner in defiance of the enemy's howling storm. An even louder cry echoes against the walls of the Kremlin. Away with the stardom. Long live the Constituent Assembly. Worker leaflets. Join the strike, join the fight, fellow workers. The worker collective cannot stand idly by when faced with the, cr casual, uh, the cruelties of the Tsardom and the whims of the capitalists. The hour when the people finally take despotism to, to task draws ever closer. We call on you to join the strike. Our solidarity will break the enemy's resistance. If we persevere in this fight, the oppressor will be unable to cut off every head from the hydra of the revolution. Away with exploitation. Long live the worker's cause. Warsaw Worker Committee of the Polish Socialist Party. Join the strike, join the fight. Short and to the point, no need to read the whole thing. This is the kind of media we need. The leaflet burns with the flame of a just cause. The fire that consumes it is aimed against the occupant, the master, the oppressor. Against anyone who torments the Polish working class. At Burke Rotzblitz. It is not immediately apparent, but this establishment is a meeting place for revolutionaries. What's more, Wand is here. The bouquet is fresh, and without a doubt, she's the one who brought it here. It's hard to mistake her trace for any other. Oh my god, are we finally meeting up with Wanda again? Interesting. She was a weirdo.